Hi, okay, how to model a original concept car in Blender. So I start out with a cube, so I get some sense of the size of the car. And then I add some wheels, uh, and both the wheels and cube have a reasonable size. And then I duplicate one of the wheels, so I can start out with a wheel arc. And so I add some loop cuts and start to shape it uh, how I want it. And I work with faces and vertices and I extrude, pull and scale. Uh, and I also use here, I use the scale uh, and uh, axis and zero to get all the vertices in line. And then there is just to uh, pull and push the vertices to get the shape you want and extruding and adding more faces and geometry uh, all after how we want it so here we start working with the window uh, and uh, a pillar so here's the window and here comes the a pillar and from time to time I select all the vertices and press M to merge by distance so I don't have any duplicates of the vertices. And somewhere here I start to realize that the car might be too uh, thin. So I try to extrude and move all the vertices out to get a wider car. And then I try to uh, continue with the window and the sides of the car and I want to have a, a quite unique rear end of the car so I cut those um, back parts of the par car and just moving edge sliding the vertices uh, with GG And just extruding, adding faces, adjusting faces, and uh, yeah, to try to have some kind of good edge flow as well. And the nice thing with this method is that you can just extrude and adding vertices and yeah try to find the shape that you're looking for and here I start working with the roof so I uh, scale a couple of vertices in so I get a nice roof area and here I think I start realizing that this car is crazy, crazy low and I don't want that um, so I need to fix that but I continue working uh, a bit so I have control over the whole car so I want all the faces to be done first and here I see a meter that I don't like so I delete those faces and add some new uh, loop cuts and add new faces to get a better edge flow yes and here I decide to work with the problem that the car is crazy low and I realize I want to do a hatchback instead so here I use proportional editing and when you have that activated you can select your vertices and uh, use the scroll wheel to uh, decide how much the pull you're doing affect the other vertices around it and then you just need to adjust the shape to your liking so once again just pushing and pulling but sometimes using the proportional editing tool because it's quite handy and uh, here I start adding some materials to get a better understanding of the car looks and also adding material for the windows and here I uh, want to add some lights as well but I was not happy with the area where I was supposed to add the light 
so I just adjust it. So we have select the faces and then do a inset and then adjust the faces and vertices for where I'm going to add the light. So I just add some emission <coughs> and add another light for the turn light. Just in the strength, and here I realize I want another shape, so I just edge slide some of the points. And then you can look over the car and see that you might want to change some other areas. A nice thing with working in low poly like this is that you uh, quite easily and uh, quick see hey, what areas that you need to fix. And here I start dialing down the rear end even more, trying to find the shape that I want. And here I decide that I want a wing on the car. So you just extrude those faces up and trying to adjust the vertices until I find the shape that I want. And then extruding out the wing. So edge slide is a really great tool. It's just GG and move the vertices where you want them. Here I move the tires into place. I realize I did a mistake here, so just move it back again. And here I want the car to be a bit lower and before the rear tire. And just pushing and pulling the vertices. And here I decided to add some uh, rear lights. And once again using the scale uh, on axis so I get all the points in, in a line as I want to. So you're selecting, use the inset. And I can see that something uh, is wrong here, so I just deleted that face and add a new face. And here I add a material for backlights. Accidentally duplicated the front light, so I'm changing the front light here as well, but it's easy to change later on. And then just sliding and trying to find the shape of the rear lights. That I think is quite important. So just moving the vertices until I'm happy with the look. And then scale them so I get all the light vertices in the same line. And here I realize my mistake, so I just fix the front lights again. And here I see some shape I'm still not too happy with and I'm adding, thinking of adding some roof details but I changed my mind. Uh, and here I'm trying to figure out how the car should look in the rear again and also how the car is supposed to look under the car. So uh, here I'm trying to do some kind of wind tunnel under the car or something like that for the under tray of the car. So I just join the vertices up and extrude. So the wheelhouses just extruding here. And when I'm working on, on the tray of the car, I'm not too concerned uh, to only use quads so I uh, just sometimes just make big faces like here I think yeah I just make a face of all of those vertices and here I just try to join up vertices to each other and select all and then merge by distance 
still not happy about that meeting in the behind the window so I uh, add another window and try to see if that fix the issue and I think so and here I just add a material for the under tray and I just select the faces with the circle tool and trying to uh, find a or create a really dark color for the under tray and here I just fix the faces that I missed before changing the color of the car and uh, I just want to add some details and here I want to have a shark fin antenna for the car it's just extruding that one up and adjusting the vertices and it's time for the tires so uh, start with the rubber and then f start working with the rim so extruding and trying to find find the shape that I'm happy with And here I have a problem, I do not realize it yet, but uh, I have a mirror modifier that is not calibrated correctly because it's both mirroring X and Z, so there I turned off X and now it works as I want it to. Trying to find a rim shape that I think looks cool. Just duplicating vertices from the rim and scale them down and move them into place. And adding more faces. And here I duplicate the wheel too soon because I want to add brake discs as well. But that's easy to fix. So here I just make a new cylinder, scale it down so it looks like a disc. And from the disk, I duplicate some vertices to, so I'll be able to uh, create the brake. Change the color and move this part into place. So now it's time to duplicate this to the back. So I duplicate the whole part, both the wheel tire and brake pad. And here I realize I want to change the look a little bit more and here I realize that I'm missing a, a wheel axis that should be visible so I just add it and then just fixing small details that I'm not happy with and then it's time to set up the scene just adding a floor, adding an um, environment map to get some reflection and some ambient lighting from that and then just adding a pedestal, changing the render setting and then fixing the pedestal again and then um, aiming to add a uh, th three point light with three area lights in different colors until I feel happy about how it looks and here are just rotating the lights around uh, the 3d cursor and here are changing the color of the car again so this is a way that you can just Kind of sketch up a car in 3d real quick uh, and it's quite fun as well and it's easy to change the shape and the look of the car so i can really recommend this method so if you like this thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and like if you want to see more stuff like this
Thanks.